Welcome to Campbellsville University, Harrodsburg. You are now in pioneer country. Welcome. We're here with Imani Washington and Ori Woods. Who is the Miss Washington off of the court? Um, she's someone who's focused in the classroom, someone who tries to do what she's supposed to when no one's around and who works hard in the off season. Who's Miss Woods off the court? I would say um, someone that can be there for anyone that needs someone there for them. Um, somebody that's focused on school and basketball. If you could have a conversation with someone in history, dead or alive, who would it be? Martin Luther King. Um, maybe, probably Martin Luther King, yeah. He's well, the reason that we're here today, so. Well, yeah. not here, but we got so much freedom. And we, all, we all have the same rights. He showed us what, um, how to get through adversity, which something that we're facing as a all black female team in Harrodsburg. And some teams are not as diverse as us. So, you know, it's motivation. Um, what's your favorite meal? Chicken Alfredo. Seafood. <laughs> <laughs> favorite color? Orange. Pink. What's your favorite pair of shoes? Any basketball shoes. Any? Okay. I can go with Jordans. I, yeah, I like Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> and slides. <laughs> this day and age, social media can be used for good and bad. How do you balance that? I would say mostly um, exposure to success on social media instead of like s stuff like negative stuff on social media also um watching what you post because there are people watching you there's people that don't want to see you succeed so if you post the wrong thing mm -hmm. and it gets in the right hands you know it just is what it is at that point how can someone follow you miss washington oh so my instagram is e3.dev with two b's my twitter is e underscore m underscore o underscore n underscore i and <laughs> <laughs> My Snapchat is queen.e with four e's. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Woods. Mine's Oreo with five O's underscore 14. On everything? Yeah. Well, that on Facebook. Be. Facebook's just Ariana Woods. What's your best moment here at Harrodsburg so far? I would say going to the Nationals. Yeah. As a second year program, I think that's pretty good too. Playing in the championship regional game. It yeah. didn't go how we wanted to, but I mean, that was experience. pretty, it was exciting Yeah. as a second year program team. What was the day, the evening, the night like when you found out you got that at-large bid? I was excited. I was too. I, I'm not going to lie. I got down on my knees and I prayed the night before because I knew how much we wanted it and I knew how much we earned it and I knew how much we deserved it despite yeah. what others thought. Yeah. It was exciting, but also nervous. But I feel like we're gonna do good in nationals. Yeah, we just have to give it everything we got every night, knowing that that can be our last game. Yeah. So, what does that accomplishment mean for this program? A lot. I feel like we're leading this school like as a po in a positive way. So, and also divert. Like I'm gonna go back to diversity wise. The all black female team winning national says a lot because yeah. a lot of people don't expect uh black people to succeed in life especially not all black female team you know with the stereotypes and the drama and the stuff like yeah. that they don't think we get along as well as we do as upper class players what's one piece of advice you'd give to fellow incoming players or younger players coming up I would say um, stay focused in school first before you worry about basketball. School, it's obviously you're a student athlete, so keep your grades together before, because I mean, they're all intertwined with each other, so you have to have good grades in order to play basketball. Don't let others' um, actions and comments and stuff affect what you got going on. You got to stay focused. You know what you're after in life and you can't let someone else be your determining factor. And coach always says, um, 
don't wait for somebody to follow you. You just keep leaving and eventually they will follow you. Great piece of advice. Last question. I asked as a team, I'm asking you ladies, how's it planned for Coach Tribble? It's a headache, but it is, but I I've always grew up playing like at his pace, so I like playing like fast. So I mean, I think it's great. And he's not only teaching us off the court. Um, if you really allow him to, he teaches you a lot off the court and a lot about yourself and in your faith as well. But that's only if you allow him to pour into you. Everyone's not the same. So. Yeah. He teaches us to always keep God first. Yeah. And then everything else will come. And since I've been here, my faith with God has actually gotten closer. Oh, and, that's and that's actually because of him, I think. Well, thank you, ladies. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks.